Sounds like a boat fan. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got the yak rigged up tonight. I'm heading out into the swamp and I'm gonna be looking for some bowfin, AKA mudfish, AKA dogfish, AKA, they got all kinds of names, but um, a lot of people don't know what they are. I've caught a few lately when I tell people about it. They just kind of give me a weird look. So I'm gonna see if I can get a couple on film or at least one on film to put on the channel so that when people say they don't know what it is, I can say go watch my video. But I don't have a lot of time to fish. It's almost sundown. I've got maybe an hour and a half or so to try to get me a bow fin tonight. I got cut bait. I got some little red worms, so I'm also gonna be trying to catch some brim while the cut bait is soaking, waiting for a bow fin to come through. Hopefully we get on something. I wouldn't mind a big old channel cat to take home and fry up for dinner tonight either. So I'm gonna get after it, guys. I will see y'all on the water. All right, found my first stake off point here. Got a little bit of structure hanging on the water. It looks real nice actually, so we're gonna try it out and see what happens. First things first, let me get this cut bait out. Let's see if I can find us that bow fin we're looking for today. Mega stinky chunk of cut bait. Get it right there into the bone. There's the bait. I wish you could smell it <clears throat> through the camera. Oh yeah, I like that cast. I have a feeling there's a big old catfish sitting right there. And a bowfin too. They're, they're both sitting there. All right, I'm gonna move it upstream a little bit. Not much happening here. It's gonna be fishing pretty aggressively tonight since we're low on time. Just looking for the fish, seeing if we can find them. situation did not work out as planned. Let's see if I can get the snag out here. Let's get to the other side of it see if I can finagle it. Got it. That doesn't always work out that, that well. It's a good day. Just gonna kind of scoot through over here. There's like this little channel right here. There was all kinds of fish rolling around in there the other day. I thought it was real shallow, but whoa. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going here. The current wants to take me in there. Let's see if I can find a place that's shallow enough to stake off. Got some weird current stuff going on. Stick is in the ground. All right, it's super deep right here. Let's try it. Whoa. There we go. 
Oh, I'm getting a bite on my gut bait. It's acting like a bowfin. It's definitely not acting like a catfish. Let's see if he decides to get aggressive with it here. pulled it right out of his mouth that was dumb now I've got a decision to make yep decision was just made for me I'm gonna turn around put my cut bait right in this little channel because there's all kinds of fish moving around in that little pool over there where the water's still I really like the look of that I'm just gonna cruise up here and turn around Substantial bite. I think we're about to have some fun. Oh yeah, my line just got a little bit of slack. I think something's got it in its mouth. Yep. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Ooh. Sounds like a boat fin. Oh, it's a nice channel cat. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice, nice, nice channel cat. Where's my neck? Get in the neck. Ah. That is a very nice channel. Oh, sweet. God, I knew the spot looked good. Channels have been eluding me lately. If I come out looking for channel cats, catch a bowfin every time. Come out looking for a bowfin, give me a beautiful channel cat. You ain't gonna hear me complain. Oh. 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 Guys, this is a tank. Broke my hook, that's okay. Got plenty of them. Perfect catch. That is gonna make such nice fillets. Ah. All right. Oh, it's a beaver. I see him, he's out there making a ruckus. Hey, quiet down, beaver. Dude's gonna scare all my fish away, man. I think I see multiple beavers right now. Oh, I totally do. One, I see three beavers. No, two of those are ducks. It's getting a little dark. Can't tell a beaver from a duck right now. These beavers out here just making a raucous. Oh my God. <laughs> That's cool to see. That would be all right if we could get us one more catfish. The skeeter situation is getting real here. Oh, is that a bite away? 
This beaver is just chilling. Well, he's not chilling. He's running around being crazy. But he's staying right in this area. Making all kinds of ruckus. I wonder if he's slapping the water like that because I'm here. Or if that's just part of his little routine that he does. That'd be cool if he got enough close enough to the kayak for me to get some footage of him. He might actually. He might be coming up. Let's see if we can film him here. after that catfish I caught and he's just salty that I stole his, his dinner. All right, well, I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna have to call it a night because I don't have a light. I have a somewhat substantial paddle back to the truck. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. You tried to wrap me around something. Didn't work, that was a nice little brim. Sweet way to close the night. Oh God, I'm getting another bite of my cut bait too. Right when I say I'm gonna leave, they start going off. Look at that fish, how beautiful is that? It's like purple. That's actually like one of the prettiest Rim I've ever seen. All right, I gotta catch this. Oh, crap, I got me. I've got a situation here. Oh, yeah. I think we got us another catfish, guys. They're running in again. I think we got a fish on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. Yanked it out of his mouth. I should be throwing that back out there, but I'm doing it. I gotta give it another minute. I can't end on that note. I thought I had that fish dead to rights. Right when you say you're gonna leave, it's like these fish hear you, man. What a cool spot. See ducks swimming around over there. You got beaver swimming around everywhere. Multiple species of fish biting. All right. I guess I better go home. Go cook up the wifey and the kids some fish for dinner tonight. They'll be happy about that. What a cool spot. Cannot wait to come back here. Definitely want to get down to the bay soon, but next time I fish close to home, this is going to be the spot right here. Because I know there's some big old bow fins swimming around in here, and I'm going to get them. Probably some big old flatheads, too. I'm going to get them, too. I'm going to get them. All right, well, that was a blast quick little trip but sometimes they end up being the best ones i didn't get my bow fin but i ain't complaining because i got a beautiful catfish which is better because i actually get to eat it and uh I, you know i did, did a little bit of research and some people do say the bow fin is really good you just have to kind of be careful with how you prepare it and you got to eat it fresh you don't want to try to freeze the meat because i guess it gets real mushy and gross so maybe we'll do a bow fin catch and cook one of these days but not tonight because we didn't get our bow fin all kind of fish hitting the surface right now. I wish I didn't have to leave. Wish I didn't have to go home, but it's time because I forgot my light and it's a work night. Gotta be responsible. Speaking of which, if y'all need help with websites, logos, or other marketing, video marketing, help managing the YouTube channel, that's what I do for a living. And I'd be happy to help you out. So feel free to shoot me a message or an email. And on that note, guys, I will see you next time I'm out on the water. In the meantime, fish hard.